How to fight arrogance? Arabic. <laughs> arrogance. How to fight arrogance? Be with humble people. No fight. We can give you 10,000 books or 10,000 words. Be with humble people. Then you'll learn. But you have to spend time. It's not being just... You have to spend time. You have to think. You have to understand. You have to test. Hmm? person who is asking that is always asking. His brain is always working. So you have to be in an environment where when you ask those questions, the answers are also going to come. But person is always asking like that. You're not in the environment where you can get the answers. You only have questions and questions and questions and questions. It'll get worse and worse. It'll just be you chasing after your own tail then that time. <coughs> because being in a Jamaat means uh, there are things that will come out from you. You're hiding it, it will come out. Person doesn't look, let's say, arrogant. But situation will happen, trust me, where something is going to squeeze you and then you're up. Oh, there you are. I see. How are you? Good morning. You are hiding it for so long. Or anger, or stubbornness, any of these hundreds and thousands. We know, but it has to come out. It's not like, uh, don't disturb me, it's not going to come out. No, it will come out. If you don't take it out, it'll start to grow and grow and grow, and before you know it, it's going to take over you, and you don't even know it's there. Here's the job. You come in. The, do uh, the doctor's duty is not to look around to see, oh, everyone is healthy. The doctor's duty is to say, okay, this one is sick, this is sick, this is sick, sick. You go out in the streets, everyone looks so nice especially in a weather like this, so fine. But the doctor knows everyone is sick. So the person, what does he want to do? Pretend he doesn't have that sickness or become even more arrogant and stubborn? He'll get more sick. Or he says, okay, now I need to know. And it's easy for the medicine to come. You understand? And there are other things also, because when you're by yourself thinking about all these things, then things that are there, it may get worse. You may even make up things that are not there. And then it's also a trick of shaitan and the ego to make you busy with things that really doesn't concern you. It's a small thing, something, but you are there are other things you should be busy with. All those things will come out in a jamaat, they will come out in a dargah too. Why are you busy with that? Do this, leave that alone. You understand? You get what I'm trying to say, right? Good. Yeah, Alhamdulillah.